Hey guys, today we're going to show you four times when we spectacularly screwed up with our marketing. I'm really looking forward to this one, pal. <laughs> I'm nervous. It's going to be fun. Okay, here we go. The four big mistakes that we made when we first set up our business, especially when it comes to marketing. Now, these are quite embarrassing to share, aren't they? But we thought we would share them anyway. <laughs> so you don't make them too. Number one, our very first professional headshot. <laughs> that is so, so, so bad. That is just horrific. I think the idea behind this photo was we were pretty young. How old were we at this point? 21, 21, yeah. 22 maybe? Going on 13. <laughs> <laughs> what a better way to look more professional than to put on a suit and tie and have um, one of our flatmates take our photo in our front room. <laughs> I tap buttons and done. We tried to blur the background. Ugh, it's horrible. I think um, we were definitely trying to be something we weren't at this point, weren't yeah. we? And I mean, who would buy off those two? Some people did. I love how we're at such vastly different heights. Yeah. <laughs> you shorty. <laughs> you shouldn't have been standing on those yellow pages. Yeah, right. I think the key here is to always hire a professional photographer because we could have got even the worst professional photo for like £20 and it'd still be better than this <laughs> horrendous thing that we produced. <laughs> I think the other point is also we weren't the type of people who's really suited a suit. No. So um, it, we weren't really being ourselves. As you can see now, we're not in suits. And I think not being true to ourselves is also another factor why this didn't really work so well. We just looked awkward. <laughs> At least it made you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, when we first went into marketing, we called our business Cloud9 Web Creation. That is a mouthful and a half. That is a mouthful. I remember we came up with this god-awful name in maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And we were just sat on Google. We decided we were going to make websites for people. And we had something called Cloud9 already. And Cloud9 web design had gone. So we thought, I know, Cloud9 web creation. Ding. That's a thing, right? <laughs> people are always looking for their web creation needs. <laughs> And is it Cloud9, the number nine, or the word nine? Ugh. Yeah, people just didn't get this name, did they? Yeah. And it's not something that had any kind of longevity, because we soon were doing more than just website design, mm -hmm. because website design was never our passion and what we wanted to do long term. So, I don't know, it was rushed. I don't know what we were thinking. Mm. So the lesson here is spend a little bit more time thinking about your business name, and... <laughs> <laughs> and your future, because you want to make it future-proof. Great advice there, P. A good business name. <laughs> this poster also brings us on to big mistake number three, because if you'll see the big slogan on this poster for websites that don't cost the earth, this was a huge mistake because we were always competing on price at the beginning. Take a look at this, P. Prices start from £49 for a one-page site. What were we eating back then? I feel like I don't know how we even made a living. Just live off potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were like super cheap back in the day. Mm. And it probably was just a confidence thing. We wanted mm. to kind of build our portfolio, which is okay in times. But you don't want to be cheap. You don't want to be competing on price because people won't value what you do. So make sure you're pricing right. Make sure you are charging what you're actually worth for the value that you're going to bring. Mm -hmm. And don't be a cheapie. <laughs> Cheapy. The cheapy, that's a thing. <laughs> Number four, and this one's a really embarrassing picture. <laughs> I know what's coming. So way back when, when we had just graduated, we had just moved to Newcastle, we had a million different ideas and we were trying to do them all at once. And then we decided, why don't we launch a t-shirt company? <gasps> that's a great idea. So yep, we launched a t-shirt company and <laughs> it was even our model. <laughs> I remember when we were to go and take this photo for our website 
and it was just me oh, with my digital camera <laughs> and we found like a nice empty bit of patch of grass i think it was actually someone's like backyard or yeah, something. it was like <laughs> the gardens of some apartment building wasn't it people were watching us but we thought this was like a stellar photo <laughs> What do you think, guys? Do you think I could be a model? I feel like <laughs> if Andrew and Pete goes belly up, then you found your calling here, Pete. T-shirt model. <laughs> and a photographer. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to why this was an awful idea, other than this photo. Um, I think like this photo was the only good part of this idea, actually. <laughs> basically we were unfocused okay we had 10 different business ideas that we were trying to do all at once you know we had 10% on this idea 10% on that idea 10% on this idea it was never 100% on one solid thing and thus that's why we failed at everything because we weren't putting enough effort into it our focus just wasn't there mm. and we see people doing this all the time they have this business idea but then they're running this project and they're sidetracked by this project and they've got all these things going on and nothing's getting all the focus and 100% of the attention. So make sure you don't do that. Let's keep focused and let's be successful at one thing. Because how many t-shirts did we sell, Pete? About five. <laughs> to our mums. Okay, guys, I think that's about it. I don't think I can I take any more. I can't no. take any more. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you've enjoyed this video because I'm pretty sure we could probably dig out some more embarrassing fails for you yeah. if you did but let's end this on a high note shall we yes the lesson learned here was basically everybody's gonna be making mistakes you know you thought we were perfect but we're just well not <laughs> it's good at hiding it <laughs> or not so much but the thing is we learned from our mistakes okay we made a mistake we learned from it we made a mistake we learned from it we corrected it we fixed it and quickly as well okay so so long as you can correct your mistakes the fastest way to success is going to be to fail quicker, okay? <laughs> the more you fail, the more you correct it, the quicker to success it's going to be. That's good. Good advice. Thanks. <laughs> you wrote it. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> no. Guys, if you've enjoyed this, please hit that big red subscribe button below and sign up for Atomic Light 2 to stay connected with us even more. Yes, I've been Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> a, it is a video on Andrew. fails, guess. And I've been Pete. <laughs> See you next week.